A large number of migrants in town work as maids or ayes, and many of them will be heading home for the festival. So employers are willing to pay extra to those who stay in town. Sun Caixin has more. <laughs> Sun Liying moved to the city from Zhejiang Province 10 years ago, and she now works as an ayi. This year, she's not going home for the spring festival. I won't go home for the spring festival because my boss said they are short of help, but they will double my pay and give me a bonus. But most of my RE friends are going home. Because we are away from home for too long, so there are more RE's going home than staying in Shanghai. Sun's employer says 70 percent of the RE's working for the company are leaving town for the holiday. And the situation is similar at other domestic service companies in the city. That will lead to the shortage of IEs in town for the break. But the company says more IEs will be staying in the town than in other big cities like Beijing, Guangzhou and Shenzhen. And those who choose to stay are naturally asking for more. Only 30 percent of IEs in my company will stay. Some of them choose to go home before or after the holiday. We will double wages during the spring festival. Usually we pay them 30 yuan an hour, and it will be 60 yuan if they work during the holiday. Joe says not all of the IEs are fully booked for the holiday, but anyone who needs to hire one should make a reservation as soon as possible. Both expats and locals say they understand the annual shortage. They are sacrificed to stay in Shanghai and... Uh, uh, they wouldn't be with their families, so I think it's worth it that they raise their prices double. Although the price will be raised, I will still ask an Ayi to help, because my kid is little and my family has many things to do. Shanghai now has about 600,000 Ayis, but only 4% of them are locals. Domestic service companies say there will be a shortage of Ayis until early March. Sun Caixin, Shanghai Life.